Coronaviruses, a family of viruses that commonly occur in humans and animals, are named for the crown-like spikes on their surface that can be seen under a microscope. Of the seven known strains of the coronavirus, four are common human coronaviruses. Typically, these cause mild to moderate upper respiratory tract illnesses similar to the common cold and flu, and sometimes lower respiratory tract illnesses such as pneumonia or bronchitis. Most people will experience a type of common human coronavirus in their lifetime. Three new strains, called novel coronaviruses, are mutations that occur when the virus is transferred from animals to humans. Previous novel coronavirus outbreaks include a global outbreak of Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS, which resulted in 8,096 cases and 774 deaths from 2003 to 2004. More recently, the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS outbreak, affected the Arabian Peninsula in 2012. Coronavirus disease 2019, referred to as COVID-19, is the latest outbreak. It's caused by the human body's reaction to a new strain of coronavirus known as SARS-CoV-2. SARS-CoV-2 evolved from an animal-to-person transmission to a person-to-person -person transmission and was first detected in Wuhan, China. Early on, many of the patients in the outbreak reportedly had some link to a specific food and exotic meat market. Currently, there is much that is unknown about the transmissibility of this virus. Since its initial detection, the virus has now spread worldwide. The Centers for Disease Control CDC, and the World Health Organization WHO, are researching COVID-19, with new information discovered daily. The risk of infection is dependent on a person's exposure. Healthcare workers caring for infected patients and family members in close contact with the patient are at higher risk for infection. Others who may have been in close contact with an infected person are also at risk. At this time, the most accurate and reliable sources of information about COVID-19 are from the CDC and WHO. Some viruses, such as measles, are highly contagious, while others are less so. Because COVID-19 has only recently been identified, its transmission modes are still being evaluated. It's thought to spread mainly from person to person, between people in close contact, within six feet, through respiratory droplets produced primarily when an infected person coughs or sneezes, or possibly when they speak or breathe. These droplets can enter the mouths, noses, or eyes of people who are nearby. People are thought to be most contagious when they are most symptomatic, the sickest. However, infected individuals can spread the virus to others, whether displaying symptoms or not. Additionally, spread of the disease may be possible through contact with a contaminated surface or object on which the virus may persist, then touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. Community spread refers to the spread of an illness within a community where people who have unknowingly been in contact with an infected person or persons. Someone exposed to COVID-19 may become a carrier before they become symptomatic. Travelers returning from affected locations with community spread are also at elevated risk of exposure. If you have close contact with someone with COVID-19 during travel, you may be asked to stay home to self-monitor and avoid contact with others for up to 14 days. The CDC currently considers this virus a very serious public health threat. There are elevated risks associated with travel, close contact activities, and caring for symptomatic patients. Confirmed COVID-19 infections have ranged from asymptomatic to few symptoms to severe illness and death. Symptoms can include fever, cough, shortness of breath, or pneumonia making it difficult to distinguish this disease from influenza, especially early on. The CDC reports that symptoms of COVID-19 may appear in as few as two days or up to 14 days after exposure. There is currently no vaccine for the COVID-19 infection. Several immunizations are under development but may not be available until 2021. Numerous drugs are being trialed for use in severe COVID-19 cases Check the FDA website for the latest status. The best protection is to avoid being exposed to the virus through proactive and defensive measures. As with other respiratory viruses, the CDC recommends frequent hand washing with soap and water.
The recommended method is to wet your hands with clean, warm or cold running water. Then turn off the tap and apply soap. Lather your hands by rubbing them together with the soap, making sure they are pointed down into the sink so the soap and water drip into the drain rather than onto your arms and elbows. Lather the backs of your hands and wrists, between your fingers and under your nails. Scrub your hands for at least 20 seconds. Then turn the tap on and rinse your hands well under clean, warm running water. Because damp hands can promote the spread of the virus, dry them using a clean, disposable towel, if available, and rub vigorously until they are dry. If a disposable towel is not available, air dry your hands using a powered hand dryer. If possible, use disposable towels to turn off the tap and open the bathroom door. If soap and water aren't available, use alcohol-based hand sanitizer of 60% ethanol or higher. If there is visible dirt on your hands, it must be removed first. The CDC recommends that enough sanitizer is applied to cover all surfaces of your hands and then rub them together for at least 20 seconds. Other precautions are to avoid touching your eyes, nose and mouth with unwashed hands and avoiding close contact with people who are sick. Don't share personal items such as dishes, cups, utensils or towels with coworkers. Most importantly, cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue then throw the tissue in the trash or sneeze into the inside of your elbow. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects and surfaces using an EPA or Center for Biocide Chemistry CBC approved products for SARS-CoV-2. And if you are sick, stay home. Voluntary home isolation can help prevent transmission to others. If you must go out, the CDC recommends wearing cloth face coverings in public settings where other social distancing measures are difficult to maintain, such as in grocery stores. This approach is especially important in areas with significant community-based transmission. If you are sick, coughing or sneezing, wearing a face mask will help prevent the spread of the virus to others. People who are caring for you should wear a face mask if they enter your room. Masks, including cloth face coverings, are only effective if worn properly. Clean your hands with soap and water or alcohol-based hand sanitizer before putting on a mask. The mask must cover your mouth and nose with no gaps between your face and the mask. Avoid touching the mask while wearing it and, if you do, wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. Single-use masks must be replaced with a new one as soon as it is damp. Follow CDC guidance regarding reuse of single-use masks. To remove the mask, use straps to remove it from behind. Do not touch the front of mask. Use a closed bin to discard single-use masks. If you are using a reusable cloth face covering, at the end of the day, remove using the straps, not touching the front. Wash it in a washing machine with hot water and completely dry on medium or high heat. Wash hands with soap and water or clean with hand sanitizer after removing mask or after contact with masks. Check the CDC website frequently for updates on what respiratory protection to use and when to use it. If you do become infected, there is no specific antiviral treatment recommended for COVID-19 infection. You should receive treatment as directed from a medical professional, typically a form of care to help relieve symptoms. For severe cases, Medical professionals will provide treatment to support vital organ function. If you are sick, you should watch for the following emergency warning signs. Trouble breathing, persistent pain or pressure in the chest, new confusion or inability to arouse, bluish lips or face. If you develop any emergency warning signs for COVID-19, get medical attention immediately. If you need to go to the hospital and you suspect you have COVID-19, the CDC recommends you call 911 and notify the operator that you have or think you might have COVID-19. If possible, put on a face mask before medical help arrives. For travel within and outside of the country, check travel warnings from the CDC. If you are planning to travel, consider your underlying health conditions, intended destination, purpose, and the expected risk. You may be more likely to get infected if you travel than if you stay home. Understanding how COVID-19 is transmitted 
and taking precautions to both protect yourself and prevent the spread of the disease can keep you and others safe. Visit the CDC website as well as your state health department website for more information on what's happening in your community and make decisions based on current information.